happy comic book day everybody i found myself a dud not every single comic that you read is something that you enjoy i get it but you know i tried i i totally tried but i just i don't know i don't know what's wrong with this one i have never heard of this comic the comic that i'm talking about is whoa -oh. Avengers Arena. It was recommended to me because someone knew that I liked Hunger Games and they're like, oh, since you like Hunger Games, I recommend that you read Avengers Arena. All right, cool. Let me cue this up thanks to Marvel Unlimited. I was able to check out the first two issues. It's like I do with TV shows. I give them like two chances. Well, with TV shows, I give them like three chances, but then with comic books, I give them two because I like to have them in twos so that way I get more context. And this one, I don't think it's going fast too. I'm sorry. I don't know if this was a standalone series where you're just supposed to be like, hey, look at this idea, ta-da, kablamo. And the first thing was like, hi, hi, I don't know who you are. It literally is like Battle Royale, Hunger Games, whatever. You, They get sent off to an arena. There is a game changer or whatever. And he's like, oh, you guys are going to stay here. There's 16 of you. One of you are going to come out alive. The rest of you will die. Who dies first? Oh, you... Someone has died in every single issue so far. There's only two. So it's a really short issue, short series, uh, because there's only 16 contestants and only one can come back. So I think there's 15 issues. I don't know, all the issues are on Marvel Unlimited. So if you are interested in reading it, go ahead and check that out if you have Marvel Unlimited. Is this something I would recommend to you? Me personally, it's not my cup of tea, even though I do like Hunger Games and I did like the books, but I just don't know. I don't know. It, it could be like a familiarity aspect where it's like I chose to read certain comics only because I know the history between other people and I want to branch in and like discover new things but actually no that's not even true because I love Saga and I knew nothing about those people and I got to care for these people so I don't know what's wrong with this. I'm probably not going to read anymore. Uh yeah. I, I just... I'm sad that I... I don't have anything awesome and cool and exciting to talk to you guys about this comic book day, but yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about this one. I'm not going to continue reading it, but that's the best thing about it. You venture off and find new things. Next week, I'm going to finally review the new Captain America. Even though I'm a Steve Rogers girl, I gotta give, you know, Sam Wilson a little chance to see how he works out and stuff. And then, after next week, oh my gosh, guess what? I'm going to be talking about DC. I need to find a way to back into DC. Uh, one of my favorite series is Death of Superman. I totally love that comic so much. Love it. I need to get back into it. I need to figure out where to start. And if DC even has anything like Marvel Unlimited where you could just see everything and pay for something. But... I don't think they do. If you do know, please let me know in the comments below because I am interested in getting back into DC land. <laughs> DC land, it's like Disneyland, but not. So recommend me where you think I should start when it comes to DC. But after Captain America, I am definitely reviewing a DC comic and I'm excited. Uh, that sums up this video. Uh, if you have heard of Avengers Arena or like it or didn't like it, let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up this video because you love comic book day. And look, look, I have a special guest. I figured Thor didn't get enough screen time, so he deserved to see some light. I will leave you with a lovely train of thought. And dang it, I always say I'm gonna do this and I forget. I don't know. <laughs>